Welcome to this data studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up depth of field on your camera so you can add some dimension to your data studio scenes. As you can see, I already have a scene started here. Since we're in November, I thought it'd be good to create a scene based on World War II for Veterans Day for Americans and Remembrance Day for Canadians. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth into what we've done so far, other than just to say that I put in an environment that is this uh, broken down village. I've used four uh, base Genesis 9 figures uh, and put them in American uniforms. Uh, I have a American tank and I have two planes in the sky along with some uh, smoke effects for the plane that looks like it's going down as well as an explosion here in the background. Um, the scene itself uh, or the environments so I have done some a little bit of modification to not very much all I did was I duplicated one of these trees to give it a bit more going on up there I tilted over this uh, telephone pole because of this explosion going off I wanted to give you that sense of stuff going on and I moved this uh, little piece of uh, broken down wall because this was a sort of an open area before I wanted to close that off and keep uh, everything focused towards the center here so that's all we've done so far. Uh, one of the other things I've already done is I've already set up uh, my main shot camera. Uh, so this is not a camera that came with the scene. It's something that I already set up. I decided that I wanted to look down the street uh, towards this intersection. So we saw what was going on. We wanted to be in the action. So we're just left of this guy. Sort of like we're behind cover and we're going to be moving in here uh, along with this guy. Sort of like a, a cinematic shot you'd see in a movie. So, since we already have all this stuff set up, and I have my main shot camera, you'll see it in my scene tab here, main shot camera, and we're currently looking through the main shot camera on the uh, NVIDIA iRay draw style right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this from the iRay draw style to the texture shaded draw style. That'll make things a bit easier for us to work in. Uh, and I'm also going to change my viewport uh, from the main shot camera to the perspective camera. Uh, so this is a camera we can just uh, float around in and look at various things. If I were to move around in my uh, main shot camera, that's going to move the camera itself. And then we're going to lose that shot that we had and have to undo it like they did after that. So we're in perspective. So now we can float around and look around. So I'm going to hold down control and alt and my left mouse button to do uh, what you're seeing here rotating around and my mouse wheel i'm going to scroll up and uh, zoom out now uh, you can alter all these settings as well inside data studio i pretty much just left mine uh, most default here uh, so we lost our camera so let's click on our camera get in our scene tab that'll show you it's right here looking this direction so let's get on to setting up our depth of field so now that we see where it's looking we're going to make sure that we have it selected in our scene pane and go to our parameters tab. Once you're in the parameters tab, these are all your options. I'm on the main shot camera selected here. You can select these other things down below if you wish, but if you just select this main shot camera, it'll show you all the options that you have inside of all these other ones as well. Uh, so the one that we're looking for right now is depth of field right down here. Right now, depth of field is set to off. We want to change that to on. As soon as I do that, you're going to see here, if you look in this area of the screen right here, that there's now three uh, three planes you're working with. You have this one, this one, and this one here. If I turn this off, you'll see that those two uh, on the other side of that uh, initial plane go away. And I click it again, they come back on again. Uh, if we want to make that a bit more visible for you, we can go to this FOV opacity. It's currently set to 30%. I can change that to maximum 100%. So now this is a, lot, a bit more uh, visible. All right, so now that that's done, uh, let's set up where we want to focus. So first things first, uh, my f-stop is currently defaulted at 22. I'm going to change that to 1. The reason I do that is because I want it to focus on one particular thing. So as soon as I do that, you're going to see that uh, this area between these two outer planes is going to shrink drastically to a very small area. Uh, I do that because you want to focus on a single thing and you'll work out from there. So what we're going to do now is take your focal distance, currently set to 450, and we're going to drag that all the way out because I want to bring uh, our furthest guy into uh, focus. So that's this guy right here. So what we can do again is we'll move our camera. Let's go overhead and make sure that he's going to be 
capture the inside of that footwear. There we go. So my inspiration for this scene was I wanted to have that cinematic shot. And to do that, I want to make sure that the main action is in focus. Uh, I'm going to want to have uh, my foreground character slightly out of focus because he's too close to us. And I want the distant stuff to be out of focus as well. So because I want to have all three of these guys in this intersection in focus, let's change this to our f-stop that is to 20 and see how that does for us. So you see at this shot way out there, we're going to dr uh, drag that back with our focal distance. Bring that all the way back so that our guy is still in focus there. Let's go back to overhead. Make sure he's still in focus. There we go. Now, I feel like he's going to be a bit too blurry. Let's go and double check that. We'll go back to our viewport and change back to our main shot camera. And then we can turn on our NVIDIA eye ray. And this will show us what's going on, what we're looking like for our depth of field. So we'll give this a minute here and it'll show us what kind of blurring effects we're going to see. I anticipate that our guy in the foreground here is going to be a bit too blurry for our liking, uh, but we'll see how that looks. Here we go. So yeah, I want him to be a bit more crisp. So what we're going to do is we can turn this back to texture shaded. Uh, actually, we'll leave that in um, our main camera. And what we'll do is we'll just go to our f-stop and we'll change that for 20 and we'll make that now 30. So as you recall from the first time we did that, our back plane went way out, right? So what we can do now is I'm going to change, uh, let's see, our far depth of field plane visibility from off to on. What that's going to do is that far plane says that anything past that is going to start to be blurred. So as you can see, uh, over half the tank is now um, out of focus and some of the tanks going to stay in focus. I want to bring that back until we just get to the end of the barrel of this guy here. So we'll take our focal distance and we'll drag that back. You see the tank starting to disappear. Let's keep going until he starts disappearing. There we go. So he started disappearing. We'll bring that back out and probably roughly around there, 940 uh, should do us really well. If you want to double check that, obviously you can go back to perspective camera. Yeah, so he's in, in uh, focus now. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to our main shot camera. Let's turn on NVIDIA iRay again and uh, see if we like that. So I think he should come out a bit more crisp this time. Uh, giving us a little bit more detail, which is what I'm really going for here. There we go. That's better. So you can see these guys are really nice and crisp. You start to lose some focus on the tank. Uh, the planes are definitely out of focus or way back there. Uh, and we can see quite a bit more of our main character here, his water bottle, his belt, uh, his rifle and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're looking for from our depth of field. Uh, this concludes our basic depth of field video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have some fun and you play around with these settings to get exactly what you're we're going for here. Uh, obviously, there's more settings to this that you can play with, uh, such as your focal length, your focal width. Um, those really uh, do a nice feature of really like drawing you in, but you need to focus that camera on one specific thing and go, okay, this is what I want to have in focus, but for our purposes, we want to do that and uh, show this nice cinematic wide shot that we have going on here. So again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have fun creating.